Hey Nomkins, welcome back to Crinx TV where it's Halloween every single day. Today we are playing Violent Horror Stories Anthology. This is four collections, well sorry, four games collected together under the moniker Violent Horror Stories, all by different authors and in different genres. It looks pretty interesting some of these, so I'm curious how it's going to pan out. I've heard really, really good things about, um, about some of these games, so we'll see. Um, the developers behind the games, I will tell you now, I will have to tap out to do it, but I'll tell you now, are, uh, uh, Indicator, don't know who that is, they have got no other things on their stream, uh, on their thing, the Boba Brothers, who made It's Just a Prank, that we played the other day, which was very good, um, Alex, who made, uh, who has got a game called My Selim coming out, that I've never heard of before, Alex Grimm, um, M83 Galaxy, who again has made a game called Your Courier is on the way that I don't know. Um, another developer is called Avocado, who has nothing else in their credits. And finally, uh, another developer who has made a game called End of Despair and Lost in Roots, which only have a demo available currently. So uh, that's Triaskaz is the name of the final developer there. So only one of these devs I've really played anything by, because uh, there doesn't seem to be any other things available unless they've released stuff by different names. We're going to go right to left, so we're going to start with, no, I'm not human, I'm a blank. I'm going to assume it's going to open a different instance of the game, but we will begin shortly. An intimate story about a disaster and guests from the underground. Alright, here we have I'm not human, I'm a blah blah blah. Let's begin. Wow. Can I do tweak the settings? I cannot. There are no settings for this. That is some ghastly movement and really slow turning. Entrance. Open. Hi, I heard from someone I know. Something has happened and it will be announced soon. People from the city have already started coming to the neighbours. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come, and who knows what's next. What's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night, and I even recommend it. That way you at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is it better not to leave the house just right now? Let's summarize. There's going to be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in, who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight and tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. What is happening? Okay, so the English translation there... Not the strongest thing. It seems no one else will come tonight. I will say though, very cool visual style. I like the uh, sort of like the comic book style there. I guess we're gonna go to sleep. Yeah, it's like a point and click sometimes. It's really odd. Good morning, dear viewers. It's morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification, but they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take a best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. I don't want to sleep. I have enough energy to talk with somebody or just for dinner. Oh, that uses energy, watching the reports and things. So in the day, we maybe get to gain extra information? Hi. Let's talk to him, I guess. Do you see the new cast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue's gonna waste your energy, so think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for signs of guest should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energy. If you decide you talk to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen and have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. So I'm, that's kind of weird, don't you think? Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else, but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's wine in the fridge. I bought you to chill. It'll make you so sleepy. 
And wait for help. If they call an ed evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Okay. Very unusual so far, this. The problem is the translation, right? Like, it's like... I don't fully get it. I get the basic of what's going on. But it's, it's like, feels like RNG type thing. Okay. Shall I check the peephole? Apparently I can't. I guess there's no one at the door at the moment. I guess the important thing is to interview people as they arrive at our house. And from that we can gauge whether or not um, they're bad. You watch graceful ballerinas gliding across the stage, performing beautiful pirouettes. Classical dance brings back warm childhood memories and makes you think of beautiful things. Oh, yeah, I guess there's nothing else to do at the moment. Alright, let's have that beer, I guess. And end the day. I'm feeling drowsy from the beer. The best thing right now is to go to sleep. I wouldn't be surprised if I died really early on in this, guys. But we'll see. Alright, night time. Someone's at the door. Yeah, I can't go in the rooms at night, so I guess I have to gauge. Right? It's dead quiet outside. Nobody's there. Even the alcoholics, for some unknown reason, say not to show up on the street. Are they afraid of someone? We mustn't say we're alone, right? As well. Hi. Is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Tell me something about your dad. Hmm, I can tell you a lot. Before he goes out, he likes to have a little beer, hee <laughs> hee. He leaves me lunch, dinner, and juice. Today I tried the beer he drinks. It's awful. Why drink that when there's juice? Oh, please don't tell him. Did you get here safely? You know, it's like everything has turned upside down. People now stay indoors or sleep during the day. At night, they go out and do things. I'm still not used to being afraid of the dark, but it seems like there's nothing to fear. Or is there? I'm calling your dad for you. Good luck. Thanks, good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone at night. We're going to play a game. He made some kind of game where you have to roll dice and then walk on objects. I mean like a chair or couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. Goodbye! Okay, so that was his kid, I guess. Oh my fucking god, who's at the door now? Can I come in? I was hiding in the pub, but I was kicked out. Hmm, not everyone can handle my temper. But don't mean to offend anyone, don't get me wrong. It's just something that gets sickening. You know how it is. What do you think? Will you let me in? You're not a visitor, ain't you? You think I'm one of those monsters? No, I'm not a visitor, but asking everyone to their face about it is just crazy. Anyway, it will be like that from now on. Why did they kick you out your last shelter? I was thinking I'll tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. They were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best that they kicked me out. They would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. I have nothing to gauge this guy, so we'll say come in. Thanks. Trusting people nowadays is worth no more than coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. Alright, I can't promise anything. And there's another person. But we don't have anything to gauge it with. Hello. Sorry for disturbing you late. It's too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? How did you get here? I didn't really intend to come. The asphalt's already melting under my feet, but it's not that bad here yet. It will make you laugh. I've got visitors in my house. Can you imagine? They kicked me out my own house. Now I'm wandering around looking for somewhere to hide from the sun. What do you think will happen in the future? I don't know. Will I survive? Who will help me? How long will I have to search for help? I don't know what will happen next. I can't even guess. Aren't you scared by this? I am very much so. Fuck it, come in. Thank you, really. I'll live one more day. I feel this is bad. It seems no one else will come tonight. Alright, in the day we have to interview them and determine whether they are visitors or not, I guess. Or we'll be dead. We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 628, there's a powerful solar energy eruption. The flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperatures reach critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now on to the news. 
Aliens? People emerging from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitness reports contact with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man. He had perfectly white teeth. It turns out he was one of these visitors. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed, so if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now let's move on to the other news. Alright, so teeth. That is important. Yeah, you want something? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. Do you want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. Hmm. Yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck with me in your tests. I'm not a visitor. Okay, I guess he's probably okay. I uh, hope this will be over soon. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. Are you going to make your decisions based on teeth? Uh, I had my teeth fixed recently, although to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I ever been to one? God, I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Does that... Do I fit the description? This can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? No, please don't. Holy shit. You want something? How do you recognize a visitor? I know no more than you. Visitors can be identified by perfectly white teeth. This is so fucking bullshit. They just want us to kill each other. It's not clear why. Alright, so he doesn't know any more information. Let's drink a beer and go to sleep for now. It's a new day tomorrow. I like this. This is clever. Oh, someone's at the door. What a shock. Oh, I should check the windows, right? There are bodies of teenagers on the ground. Someone killed them. It seems to be recent because the blood hasn't dried yet. The picture gives you goosebumps and makes you feel a little uneasy. Well, that's fucked. As of the window stands a neighbor and his daughter. They play happily together, forgetting the horror that's happening for a moment. Watching them makes you remember your childhood and gives you a warm feeling of nostalgia. I'm coming, by the way. Just give me a minute. Okay, fuck. On the path stands a man as pale as death itself. There are strange folds in his skin. The skin seems to be too big for him. You can't see his eyes from here, but you can feel him drooling you with his gaze. You feel fear and pray to God the creepy visitor will avoid your house. Alright. Hello. Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Who are you? Doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor. There is something I would ask of you. Later. I'm not sure yet. Take off your jacket. No. It's okay if you don't let me in. I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna beg or bother you. Hmm. You better leave. I get it. Okay, bye. See, so I've got a lot of gunpowder residue on your hands. Can you shoot me? Yeah, you need the bullets yourself. Bye. Yeah, I don't... You shouldn't take off the coat, so... Hey, human. With f what, how fortunate we are, we've witnessed firsthand the consequence of human passions. The earth will be cleansed, the sun will do its work, and we will go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news! What? What are you doing, human? Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns and burns us for a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. Gives his hit to us! And that's a good thing. All our sins will be over and we'll live our lives properly. What's going to happen to you then? What's it got to do with me? We're all going to live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all this stuff, you know. No? You understand everything? That's why you're alive. You'd better leave. Did you pretend you didn't know anything about the sun? Well, fuck you then. I'll save someone else. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, I'm not letting absolute loonies in. I mean, so far, to be fair, everyone's been batshit, but still. It happened once before and it will happen again later. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are participants too. No thanks. Everything I need is already there. And what I don't have, you can't help me with. Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read a line. What are you talking about? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Alright, open at the beginning, top paragraph. 
The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. I guess we're not letting anyone in today. I didn't realize that last person was just not going to try and come in. They were just weird. All right, well, back to bed. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they've discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employees encountered a woman who'd worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA and call the hotline. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. Well, we've only got one person in the fucking house to talk to at the moment, because everyone else is either dead or I didn't let in. Yeah, you want something? Need to check on you. Hands. Where'd that even come from? Dirt under the fingernails? Is that supposed to be a sign? They can just wash their hands. That's all it takes. So what, every gardener is a visitor now? That's ridiculous. Look at nails. Well, am I a visitor? Of course not. Okay, this guy seems legit. How many victims are there? Thousands? Hundreds? Or thousands? Millions? Honestly, I've no, it's no idea. And no one will tell you so, so they don't piss your pants in fear. No matter what number you come up with, triple it. It's probably closer to the actual number of victims. Uh, who are the visitors? This is something humanity has never faced before. They just slap a label on something unknown and hate it. As if this has never happened before. People are fundamentally flawed. What can you do? Alright, well, I watch TV and then drink a beer, I guess. It's difficult times. When the hour of despair is near and trust is hard to come by, there is a... There are those you can rely on. The Federal Emergency Management Agency. Alright, so this is just... I feel like this is just bullshit to cull the population or some shit. I'm gonna be honest. How's her body going, by the way? Is it alright? Oh, we cleared it up. Excellent. Even better. I feel like I'm heading for disaster here rapidly. Alright. We should let some people in just to make it more interesting today. Hi. Why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? What do you want? Listen, are you alone in the house? Just curious, you're reading someone's fortune, promising salvation to someone, driving some away. I have other people taking shelter here. You're lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms, but who knows what will happen tomorrow. Oh shit, so we do need people in or we'll die. There's a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently there are small units sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. Maybe they want to track down a creepy stranger? You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with dangerous guests on the streets. Alright, so we need to let more people in, though. The bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. They seem to have been lying here all day. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there are those who can remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of contagion could appear if the rotting bodies are not removed from the street. There's a small group of FEMA staff standing outside a neighbor's house. I wonder what they're talking about. Maybe they're taking soil samples? Or are they looking for a place to set up base? It makes you feel a little better to think that someone's trying to make sense of this nightmare. Yeah, FEMA, we can trust them. 100%. Definitely nothing bad. Can I rest at your place? Where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm very tired. If I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. I can't bury him properly now. It's pointless to let him go now. Come in. I don't think I'll stay along. I just need a break. Alright. We let them in. Oh, hey! Among Us. You see what's going on? Fucking hell. How's it going down here? What's going on? New opportunities, can't you fucking see? Everyone's whining, running around, fussing, but you can just do things from the heart. That's all. We should be happy, in short. 
What are you offering? Survive! What else is there? We've got to make plans where we can to hell with the sun. Keep moving, you know. Let's go, shall we? Come in. Oh ho! Now we're talking! Finally someone with sense, bitch! Alright. We just shoot them tomorrow if they meet any of the criteria, okay? There's more people. Oh shit! Oh, I thought no one was home. It's so quiet at night. Can I come in? Have you been watching the house? What? <laughs> no, of course not. It's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Some just scream with unbearable sorrow. Who are you? I'm a traveling doctor. Now hospitals are chaotic. I highly advise going there. I'm operating people. I'm a surgeon. There wasn't enough funding at a hospital, so I've done a lot of other jobs that aren't typically mine. Now I just go around helping whoever I can. I hope I can help someone. Alright, let's see if we're dead in the morning. Well, I think we have at least a day to eliminate them, right? We have three people to check, though. Like, holy shit. Good morning, my dear viewers. This is Morning News. The valiant FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. This year, FEMA has identified a new indicator of visitors. Intensely irritated blood red eyes. The information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experiment experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. Alright, so blood red eyes, dirt under the nails. Where the fuck is everyone? Alright, you. Hey, what's up, bitch? Need to check on you. What do you want to check? Eyes. My eyes have been itchy these days. Do you think it's from the sun or what? That's not good. Fuck. It's just some kind of disease. Bitch, you suck my di- Oh. Hmm? Need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. You operate with so many people with these hands, I could tell maybe many stories, but maybe another time. Now, please look. I, keep, I try to keep these arms toned so I don't slack off. Who knows what tomorrow might bring? Need to check on you. Let's check eyes. Not sure if you noticed, but I have Poroid Courier. Oh, shit. My vision is actually worse because of it. You ha think having two pupils in one eye would be handy, but alas. Uh, and finally, teeth. Thank you, my teeth are fine. Ah, it's the visitor signs you're asking about. Sure, look. Perfect, eh? I had a friend of mine put them on for me. And I operated him a while ago. I wonder how he is right now. If you want, we can fix your teeth too. For cheaper, of course, since you helped me out. Once all this sun madness is over, that is. We're gonna let him go! Because it makes sense he's a doctor and he had his fucking teeth done. Alright, oh god, that's fucked. I need to get some rest. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Would you want my eyes? Redness in the eyes? Go ahead. Oh, fuck. If I show emotion, does that make me a visitor? Can a person in the new world still cry? Apparently laughing's already forbidden. Is it really gonna end this easily? No more pain? You know, I didn't really want the, the fucking dead body in my bathtub, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I feel like it's like... a bit cringe. You know? Hmm... What's causing the cataclysm? A really good question. I look at everything from a scientific point of view, but unfortunately we have no way of knowing what's really going on here. It would be interesting to know who the visitors really are if we live to see it. I'll ask him one more question. I think so, but you can't be too careful. Remembering what happened in the hospital, I hate to see it happen again. Man is a reasonable creature, but a crowd. A crowd is a stupid beast. I feel like there's no right or wrong answers here, by the way. I feel it's like... Okay. Like... Whatever outcome you go for... It happens. I'm assuming there's different endings, though. Alright, windows first. A neighbor's house, which was recently painted white, burned to the ground, is now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set the fire on purpose? What happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and a feeling of incomprehensible... Him, incomprehension and helplessness. Okay. A pale, creepy man stands in the road and smiles. He has someone's severed head in his hand, wearing a helmet. It's a soldier's head with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You are very uncomfortable with what you see. Understandably? 
The entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. The bodies are strewn over the street, and one of the bodies is missing a head. Did that pale, creepy stranger kill them all? You're horrified by this picture of Carnish, and you feel in danger. I mean, understandably so. Good night. I'm from the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. How can I trust you? You must have seen the news. We were there. I can also show you my ID. Why are you wearing a hazmat suit? Are we getting one of those? Well, how will you help us? First, we have to do some investigation. Based on results, I will be able to take further action by notifying the management. We just need to wait a little. Do you have an action plan? Of course, it's not like we can act spontaneously. We'll take one person with us for examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check the health of one. Based on that, we'll decide if you will need help. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack two? No, you are, as I understand it, the owner of the house. You stay here for now. We'll take the man away for a while. We decide what to do next. We'll issue instructions afterwards. I'm now taking the man with us. We're leaving. Goodbye. Oh, wait, we, they took one of the people. So we definitely need to get more people in the house tonight. Hello. What mess? Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here were revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beast. If you deny it long enough, you'll be eaten alive, no bones left. Now the new order is whoever is the strongest is right. Whoever says he's not one of this kind of people will be dead tomorrow. How have you survived all this time? You'll know too much. You'll soon grow old. I don't ask you how you live. You don't ask me how I live. The main thing is that I won't be a problem for you. Fucking an intelligent decision. The, the force now rules your life and you either accept it or get in trouble. All right, okay, so he's in. Hello, let me in. Did something happen? My daddy. Killed my dad. Where did they do that? Drink some water. I don't know. They were quietly sitting with daddy in the kitchen and then did something and they set the house on fire. While I was running, they were just laughing. Come in. Can you help me? I'm scared. We let the little girl in. So they burned down the father's house. Hey, how's it going around here? I'm not around here. I don't like staying in one place for too long. Can't run around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. What are you looking for? In town, I want to rest. After this damn sun, the visitors start popping up more, crawling everywhere. I'm telling you, we need to snuff them out. They're trying to pull something on us. Where's your weapon against the visitors? I had a gun. I almost got myself killed. They waited till I was asleep in the tent and just stole my gun. I was running. They were shooting. That's the kind of fun they have. They have nothing human but a shell. I know you want to push over a real man. We'll mix it up with these visitors. They won't come near us by a mile. All right, we let a bunch of people in. Tomorrow, we're probably going to shoot some of them. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. You smell death and decay. Oh, shit. FEMA continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to their data, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring in the photos. The effect can only be observed with film cameras. Fortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon have not been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Alright. Let's see what's going on. Do you have a question for me? Why is this guy dead? I need to check on you. I don't like having my picture taken. If pictures don't end up in the trash later, I have to take action. Do you understand that? You know this picture seems fine, but it's been snatched out of your hands. Give it to me. I'll throw them out myself. Did he just kill this guy? Watch it. If you attack me, I'll bite your neck with these teeth. Oh, no. Okay. I take care of my teeth and those that are missing while well, those bastards clench tighter in the grave. This guy shot the other, killed the other guy. I've been out of these before. We'll see who's faster. Okay, so. What the fuck was that noise? I want my mama. I need to check on you. What do you want to check, Philo? I'm not really into photo. Will you show me a photo later? You took a picture. The photo came out a little blurry. The girl ran up to you without waiting for the end of the photo shoot. Hmm, thank you. I didn't like it. Don't ask me to take any more pictures. Okay, I think she's alright. The visitor could be any one of us. Photo. I don't really like taking pictures. It reminds me of a thunderstorm. It makes me panic. No, you don't get it. I'm not taking pictures. Well, you're fucking dead. No, wait!
Did he kill the doctor as well? Oh shit. Yeah, we lost people. We've only got the girl. The girl is the only person in the house again now. Oh, what a shit show. Alright, well, anyway, we're gonna go to bed. I think we killed a lot of innocent people today, probably. But we do have somebody in the house. If the FEMA come and take the girl, though, we're in trouble. Like, we're actually dead, probably. You see a stake with a helmeted skull on it. There's some black burnt skin left on the skull and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. The head's been there all day. The whole grim display looks like a threat, surely left by the creepy pal visitor. Yeah, so if we have no one in the house, we're dead. You're looking at the neighbor's house. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not their evil guests who are to blame, but people with paranoia. It brings you anxiety. The little girl seems fine. There's a dead man hanging suspended from a lamppost with a sign around his neck. It says, visitors are not welcome. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest and killed in a lynching. The thoughts of violence engulfing a once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you long for quieter times. Good evening. With the FEMA team, we need to do a survey of your neighborhood. The man you took isn't enough. Last one? Oh, that. The examination procedure is quite exhausting right now. Your man is in rehabilitation. After he rests, we'll bring him back right away. Why, was one not enough? The sample's too small. The boss first said to take one at a time, but now we need to see if we need more. So we went out again. I'm not interested in these examinations. You don't get it. We didn't give give you a choice. You're just We're just doing our job. You can't say no. We'll do what we need and go and leave. God damn it. We have no one. We have no one left. Oh, we're dead. What do you think of that one in the suit? I don't know how I feel about him. What's not to know? Okay, anyway, I don't care. I'm kind of busy. Can you come back later? I understand, of course. I'll come back later. Just... Are you alone in the house? You're all alone. The sun has burned everyone you knew. You either got nobody at home or my boys. How did this happen? Did you turn out to be the most vicious beast? Well, come here. You're going to get what you deserve. No! No one will know what happened when the last guest arrived. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. And your terrible disappearance, everyone avoids the abandoned house. Oh, no. We died. We died horribly. Very cool, though. Very cool. Let's check out some other games in the anthology for now. But I might replay that one, because it was pretty good. A big, wonderful, fantastic shout-out to our Patreon supporter, Nara Slayer, for making this all possible. Thank you so much, Nara, for another amazing, phenomenal month of support. We really do appreciate you more than anything, guys. If you guys are interested in supporting us on Patreon... Consider doing it now. There's a playthrough of Our Oni. The classic has gone up there now. It is available at the time of me posting this video. It's available on all tiers. We still need some support this month to hit our goal. I believe seven new supporters currently to hit our goal. All you need to do is go over there and pledge $1 or more. You'll get access to a huge backlog of playthroughs for that dollar. And it'll go towards the goal. And it'll help us keep this channel going, which is incredibly important. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being Nom. Thank you, Nara, once again. And thank you, of course, to our producer, Alice. Make sure you're following Alice at the links on screen right now. You have to be, because if you don't, you're going to miss out on us playing Seven Days to Die, the full release later this month on Twitch. Oh, my God. Make sure you're following Alice there for that. Thanks for listening. Here is some more horror anthology type stuff. And please consider pledging to that patron. So this is a game by Boba Bros. It's called I Ate Old Man's Liver, Now This Bitch Is Mine. Oh shit, okay. We're driving a husky team. Every day, the same damn thing. Screwdriver up my ass. Maybe we should just adjust the antenna. Shut your trap and watch the dogs, you useless piece of shit. It's clear your father didn't beat you enough. Yes, sir. Move to the left, you dumbass. Yes, sir. Press A to turn left. 
Can't you see where you're going, you blind worm? Press D to turn to the other left. In my day, a man can handle a sled with his pinky and satisfy half a dozen women. Why the hell do you take this job, imbecile? Running away from your bitch, are you? So we're stuck in the thled, slide with a miserable old man. What did you mumble, moron? I haven't found the one yet. Don't tell me. That you... Well, this guy, I'm glad we're going to eat him. I heard a story once. A man worked on a cliff. Worked so hard that seagulls mistook his ass for a nest. And he was happy. At least he had some company. Do I want to know this story? I don't even know what this is. Finally! The best angle. Oh, I guess the TV got a signal? Drive straighter. Yeah, I guess we got a signal for the ballerinas. Time to ch- Oh my god, really? Oh dear. This, this game's a gross. What the hell are you doing, moron? I tried to turn, but for a second. I'll rip your balls off in a second, you fucking prick. You worthless scum, festering pimple, you ruined the best shot. I didn't mean to. I speak here, bitch. I, I... You're nothing! Already crying, crybaby. I was press F to push the old man. What the? Easy now, nice doggy. I'm not tasty. What did we do? We pushed him out? You want me to give something? Ah, uh, you want to feed me? Press F to eat the liver. What the fuck is happening? How good. This is better than sex. You finally showed yourself, boss. What? The wolves are talking to us? Woof woof. You overthrew the lame mutt. Now you're the pack leader. Woof woof. Don't listen to him, he's simple minded. With their names. Am I going crazy? Do you know what a true alpha male needs? I could use a small sweet, untouched. Female. Woof woof. Um... Are we chasing the ballerina? I think we are. Oh, we have to dodge. Oh, shit. This is so fucking weird. So we killed the guy and ate him, and now we are chasing a ballerina. So we can become a true alpha male. This is such a weird collection of games so far. Like, this is nothing like the other. By the, by the way, the, the word that describes this anthology, the word they were given to work for for all the games, is Pursuit.
Which makes sense, seeing as we are uh, pursuing something here. I feel it less applies to the first game, but that's okay. Like, it doesn't need to apply. Oh god, we lost the life! He had the best Wilhelm scream. Oh my god, the poor Papier! Oh my god, the poor Papier! We are totally not making it through this game either, by the way. I feel like these games may be all significantly over my skill level. Is she flying off to the side there? Boss, just don't, don't look back. Why not? Oh, he's chasing us! Why the fuck haven't you crashed yet, you worthless piece of shit? He's like a cockroach! <laughs> sir, yes sir. I'll crash next time for sure, sir. The hell are you talking about? They aren't words of a leader, but a bitch. Is he pushing me to the left? He is. Oh, this is hard. Okay. He's gonna come back, 100%. Yep. It's so dark to see the trees now. <laughs> to hell with that bull licker. There was no time to react! Like, at all! And we died. What the fuck is happening? Oh, hang on, we get an extra chance. Okay, that's good. Okay, again we beat him. Okay, we have lives, that's good. We have more, we have multiple chances of doing this. We are so fucked here. Holy shit. Oh, the checkpoint isn't as good as I thought it was. We're gonna lose a lot of progress here, guys. Oh my god. Alright, we have to kill him as quick as possible. I think. Fuck me, fuck me, please do a jump. Yes, I think that counts as a checkpoint. I think the jumps, no, they, they definitely don't actually. Holy shit. Holy shit. God damn it, it's so difficult. I will try this for a little bit longer, but it might be outside my, uh, my skill level. Of a game as a gamer, I'm gonna be honest. Especially as I have no idea. Fuck off. There was okay. So that wolf didn't even touch the fucking thing that time, and it still counted. That was bullshit. Oh my god. Twenty five minutes that took me. Absolute trash here, boss. Good job. You found your princess. Although, who am I kidding? Your brain is like a sieve from vitamin deficiency. Right now, my brothers and I are eating you alive. Yeah, that was, um... That was fucking awful. Uh, I understand that was like an experimental thing. It was ter It was genuinely terrible. <laughs> I absolutely hated it. I didn't even find it funny. I just found it really annoying and obnoxious. Um, first game was significantly better. Alright, moving on now to our next one. Alright, this is Sensation. It's about being a Japanese reporter. That is apparently what this one's about. Hopefully, it's a massive step up from the previous one. The first one, great. This previous one, 
terrible. Very mixed bag. It's getting dark, Dan. I'm gonna get fired if I don't bring a sensational content. My reporter career will be ruined. I wouldn't be able to pay my rent debt and will die in a rotten box on the street. What the fuck was that? What was that? I need to turn on my camera. I need to search for this items. It's like a hidden object game? Okay. Woman who Lubus went past me looks like this actress. Same face. This is weird. Nation's favorite actress takes a break. I'm sure I've spotted her. Okay. I can't seem to control where this goes, by the way. These cigarette cases were gifted the most popular Tokyo celebrities on a recent movie. Okay. What is that? It's not on the list. Niti Nitya Kadze Romero Kart names of my colleagues. Maybe it's a list of interviewers. Yeah, I can't control where the thing is going for the most part. There's the bottle. Maybe it just sort of bounces towards it. Oh, we have a timer. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Is it true that a celebrity photo or the packaging can increase sales? Where the fuck is this earring? I know this manga is about a woman who drives men crazy and leads them to their doom. Yeah, I have no idea where this fucking earring is. If you fuck up, you cannot click it again. Oh, shit. Yeah, I have no idea where the earring is. I don't see anywhere where it could be, I'm going to be honest with you. So we're going to run out of time here. I don't know what that means. Other than this is annoying. I will say, is this an earring? Crane Origami. I saw this during a lot of TV shows and newspapers. It is the earring. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have to find the, uh, the things we need, I guess. Dog's name is Joe, just like on a poster. Little Joe missing. There's a big reward for finding a dog. I think we have everything on this scene. Yeah, we do. Alright, we found everything. Sort of a weird little visual novel type thing here. Japan Japan Japanese Japanese movie is Queen main cast in TV series. That's her. Why is the most popular actress in Tokyo so secretly? I will follow her. She's hiding something. I can find out her big secret. The mystery will be revealed. Channel ratings will go up, and Boss will be happy. I get a raise. Will become the best channel reporter. Or I can blackmail the management that I will leave with the material. I can get everything I want. She's the skeleton key. She will lead me to success. She is my sensation. Okay, this is a weird start. Poor thing, at least it's easier for me to get to her. Oh, she left her shoe behind. Leave me alone, it's written here. I don't think so. Still hot, she threw the cup as soon as she noticed me. So we're just, like stalking this poor woman is basically what we're doing. It's like a paparazzi simulator, I guess, is the way I'd describe it. First her dog went missing, then her husband. She should go to any show and play on sympathy. Mm, maybe that isn't her style, I'm gonna be honest. I have, there's the mask. No matter how you try and hide, I still recognize you. And there's a the suitcase. There are only coins left inside. Hieroglyphs are blurred. What does that mean? Hotel manager. Uh, that's the actress's husband's business card. Hotel must be somewhere nearby. The broken English in this is pretty bad. Like, it's not, un like, unattainable to tell what's happening, but still. Mail engagement ring inside a package. There are bloodstains on it. Do you think she may have killed her husband, guys? What do you think gave it away? Okay, we're missing something optional, but I don't know what it is. It's a very unique mechanic, I will say. Aromagami Crane, it's Luck Talisman of my Sensations family. Alright, okay, we found everything. But yeah, it's like a timed hidden object game, I guess, is the best way of putting this. A very strange little thing. 
I continued to follow her, like a shadow, catching her perfume, hearing her coat rustling and getting a glimpse of her footsteps. I'm turning on the camera, but she immediately runs away behind the corner. Leave me alone! Go away! I'm begging you! She runs even faster, but I still hear her breath fail. She won't get away too far. Damn, dead end. Where did she go? She dropped the key. She'll not get rid of me that easily. There's a scarf. Child's dirty scarf. What does it do in such a place? Why is that a key item? Badge belongs to Romo Romero Car. Why is there blood on it? That's her husband, I guess. All right, there's the card we need over to the left. The drawing, I think. Talented actress's daughter. How much would I earn for an interview with that girl? I don't know. Where the fuck is the surveillance camera? She lost her phone. Last messages are from an undefined number. I will look at them later. Probably should look at them now. So they're probably going to get you killed, I'm going to guess. Oh my god. Tokyo's major celebrity is searching for her family members without police involvement. Some journalist article. This bastard was close to taking away my reward, but I will be first. Alright, where the fuck is the security camera? Like, I don't see anything that could be it. Oh, it's that. This is a lamppost. Broken right besides the back door to the hotel. They're trying to hide something. Alright, we're still missing something. An optional thing. Maybe this, wherever the fuck this is. Yeah. These people are crossed out. What does it mean? It means she's killed two people and you're next, dude. Wow, she dropped her phone. A message from an unidentified number. You don't have much time. It's easy for you to get it. Bring me more or you will never see your daughter again. It's so interesting. My report is getting pricier and pricier. The right door shoes, child shoes, dirty laundry. Were these signs besides the back door? I have a feeling it was just hanged. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? It's a suitcase made out of human flesh is what it is. I already found these coins in a briefcase. Death appears to be written on them. Heels match perfectly. That's her shoes. So her daughter is waiting behind that room. Oh, the number? Yeah. Everything points to my sensation hiding behind that door. We want the laundry and this stuff down here now. And whatever this is, like this gimp mask hanging on the wall over there. What the fuck is going on? Revolting. Hotel staff are out of luck today. Alright, we found all the key items. They broke a girl's favourite doll to scare her. Very foul. It's soaked in dry blood. Is my sensation's husband alive? I would say strongly there is a strong chance of, of no. That is not the case. I don't think Joe is still alive, but he definitely met some kind of beast. I think little Joe is still alive. Oh, this is a dog muzzle. Oh shit, that's depressing. Alright, we found everything again. I just realized there's like a shape of a human on the floor. A lot of stuff there. Oof, almost lost the trail. I'm sure that this is the right room. Key fits. I'm not missing my chance so easily. You won't scare me with the sudden cold and smell of sulfur. I mean, there is literally a dead body on the bed, I'm going to be honest with you. This one who looks into a broken mirror breaks one's soul. Fuck. Something ate his face. H how do we know this? Only a little adorable lamp, though. Girls' nightlights were scribbled on. Poor kid. We have a rope and a ransom note. Go find. I see where the rope is. Hang on, can I just click? If my sensation's husband lost so much blood, then he must feel shitty right now. No, I can't just click. I have to wait for it to go over it. Okay. There's blood in the chair. They tortured the reporter at first. 
Um, there was a hand there. This purse belongs to the sensation. Death is written on every coin. Alright, what am I missing? I'm missing something. But I don't know what. Whatever it is must be quite small. Because I, I can't see shit, I'm going to be honest. That, whatever that is. I thought these things are strong and don't tear. It's a torn leash for the dog. Now yeah, we found everything. Dog's probably dead. No, I barely made it from the one following me. How could I pay attention, Dan? Oh god, it was so stupid. So much supernatural things happening. And I didn't want to see it. What? Why is everyone looking at me? They're staring at me. I need to hide. I have absolutely no idea what just happened. I have absolutely no idea what just went on, guys. Like, genuinely no idea. Uh, a bizarre little visual novel. I mean, it's not terrible. Like, as a concept, I think this kind of gameplay is actually pretty fun. Um, but I have no idea what happened again. Um, so far, the other two, um, it's, so well, the other two were more coherent, but the first one is the one that stands out by a large margin so far as a significantly better title than the others. Let's keep going. We've got one more to check out. All right, so this one is called All Alone in Toon Tower. I think we need to pick English, which is why it's what. Where am I? Okay. I remember a building. Oh, I like the aesthetic of this. Some kind of archive? A sightseeing tour? Lots of moving pictures? Ev then everything came crashing down. Then darkness. Gotta move. Okay. I don't understand. Space. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. How do I select rooms? It won't let me do that. The mouse doesn't work. Oh, now it does. Okay, I understand. Alright, you had to move the uh, film. I didn't realize you had to drag it down. Alright, chop chop. Axe plus door times three. Okay. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay. I see. So we need to go down here, grab the axe, go back, and then swatch the rooms out. That's a decently cool concept, I'm going to be honest with you. I think I've played many games with this aesthetic. I feel like this is the ideal aesthetic for like a horror game, but you know. All right, um... Hmm... I think the way this is gonna work is we go through here, into here, right? We press space. Oh, we can only change one room, though. We go back a room? Yeah, there we go. So only the ones in the middle could be changed. That's fine. Not too bad. No escape. Right, before anything else, we get the axe, right? Then we go back.
All right, then we go in here. We break the door down. We go in here. We swap that out with the no escape room. We go back into the no escape room. We grab this room and put it in the middle and then go through. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh my god. I'm so good at video games. Holy shit. Do away with evil. Alright, I'm guessing... How do we do away with evil? Let's about to find out. Oh. I guess that's actually really easy. I thought we were going to hit him with an axe or something, but no, we can just get rid of him. Save space relatively. Okay. All right. I have. I have. Uh, this might. I might die here. We got to get used to this a bit. There we go. There's a decapitated head of a cat in that room. Lovely. I guess that one wasn't as lucky as us, huh? Alright. Hmm. Oh, there's no things here, so okay. Oh, I see. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh. Okay. You don't need me. I'm so useless. Why was I created? So that's that. Oh shit, this is timed. Fuck. I, I genuinely don't know what to do here. Okay, um... this there? Yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. The giant killer cow isn't getting us just yet. Use my, use the despite my heart of darkness. Okay. Alright, I see. So you can just stand in the bits of the room where there's not darkness. Okay, that cow is fucking getting thirsty as fuck here. But that counts as a light, I'm guessing. Yeah. So the skull will light the room for us. This is a cool little premise. Don't know how long this is going to go on for, though. I feel like there's a danger that it might get really, really fucking shite. Go and get that. Then we put this one in here. 
we throw the axe, kill it, and then go all the way through, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Well, this is, uh, certainly something. I don't really know what to do here, I'm gonna be honest. Like, what the fuck? These are all the same. Alright. This is probably gonna- I'm probably gonna die here. This seems like a... a fairly challenging thing to do. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm just dead. <laughs> Stupid fucking death. Alright. See no evil, evil no see. Hang on, let me just die. If I don't pick up the skull, can I just walk through it? No, because it's solid. But, I can do this. So you don't want the skull in that situation. Got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm a smart kin, you know? Okay, so chandelier plus K equals dead. I get it. Uh, I can't cut the rope, can I? Let's just die. I fucked up. We gotta get an axe first. Alright. Let's get the axe. With the weird eating noise. Alright, now we bait these two in. And as they get underneath that, we... <sighs> that was close. I'm glad their hitboxes are massive, otherwise I wouldn't have had a chance there. Alright. Alright, that still a lot from this side. Okay, so let's get... Well, we may as well get the axe, first of all. Okay. Hmm. I've got to think about this a bit. All right, let's go here. Oh, we can't go. Fuck, we can't go there. Oh god, 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 oh god. I can't even do this, I don't think, can I? Alright, okay, okay, okay. Alright. I can't get through that room, right? Because I don't have a safe to cut down. Nope, I can't get through that room. Fuck, I don't know what to do. Alright, we don't cut this down yet. We don't cut this down yet. We go through to the other room, okay?
Okay, I think I've got it. Come on. Fuck off! That was some big fucking balls to the wall bullshit fucking shite. I fucking hated that. Holy shit, that made me angry. Did exactly what I did before, but different outcome. That sort of shit annoys me so much. Alright. Okay. At least I can fucking do this bit a bit faster now. Alright, this time, fucking get hit by the fucking thing, you pricks. Alright, let's go, 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 and that's the end of that stage. Jesus, that was getting complicated. It's gonna get worse, too. Three dead cats equals TV? I need to get the fucking light, unfortunately for me. I might have already fucked this, though. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Let's do this again. Let's get the cow get us. Because um, we've got to kill the three. Can you hurry up, please? Oh, by the way, I, like the way I just realized the cow is the fucking animation, even when it's not the right fucking thing. But how do we get that door open... I genuinely don't know what to do here. We can't get the door open, I just realized, without the axe. So I have to use an axe here. Okay. So let's go back here. Grab this axe. Yeah, I know the cow's coming. So I have to do this next. Whatever happens, I have to kill these two because I need the axe in their room. Oh, I don't lose an axe for that? Hello? What is happening? Stupid ending. <laughs> I like this. This was fun. This is definitely the strongest one other than the first one in the collection. What a weird little collection of games. Very experimental. Some I liked, some I didn't. But it's alright overall. Uh, uh, this game costs you, on Steam right now, £2.11, pence, which is probably worth it just for the first game alone, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it's about $3.00. 
I'm guessing I can't have this in the video, this music. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments section. I will see you really soon for more spooks of various varieties. And we'll have a fun time playing more and more of these, I hope. Um, thanks for being numb. Consider pledging to our Patreon at the time of recording. We need eight more subs to unlock a playthrough of Kindergarten over there in the upcoming months. Go check it out. Even a dollar allows us to revisit one of the classics from the RPG Minx. And it would be awesome to have you guys on board over there. On any tier. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being numb. I will see you guys later. Bye.